What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today of course we are back at it again with another episode of The Lost Girl. Um, really quickly guys if you haven't seen I posted a new episode of Amor Loco um, last night it went up really late. I'm trying to get it up in time but you know things got past me and all that good stuff but um yeah um but it is up if you guys haven't seen it so go watch that um but however if you guys don't know what happened in the last episode our girl hope here started her first day of school um and she is going to a very prestige private school with her twin brother and he introduces to his friends um, i don't know their names because To come and find out that he's not really actually stalking us but he's just interested in our case he's interested in very crime-like things so he is delegating to a case about the anonymous tip and things and he was the one to give the anonymous tip about us being the kidnapped child um also we have met reed for the first time also we met reed up you said hope didn't come home after school we were worried she may have ran off are we supposed to be surprised she probably doesn't want to be found that's enough apian what we lived with her for 12 years i think we will all survive she's supposed to meet us for lunch but she never showed up this is all my fault let's not jump to conclusions or blame out ourselves it's important to remember that hope is going through a massive change and she might not even be aware she needs to inform you of her whereabouts what i miss Everyone's lost their minds thinking you've taken off, but I know you better than, than to think you just disappeared. Hope you just need a moment to yourself, did you? You think you know me after a single conversation? You're not as mysterious as you like to think you are. Now, do you want to put it into this madness or should I? I got this. I know. Hello? Hope? Oh, thank goodness you're right. We were worried. Apologize profusely, telling them they were overreacting. Like, can y'all chill? Like what's happening like y'all need to calm down for a second like i didn't go anywhere like if it had been like a freaking day i didn't come back okay but it's been like what a couple hours we're overreacting look i'm sorry i just took a walk to clear my head i'm not really used to people caring about where i am or when i come home it's not a big deal it might be a good idea to discuss your expectations with hope to prevent a future incident wonderful she's fine now can we all move on with our lives i feel like we're gonna cuss her out before <laughs> this is over we're sorry to bother you detectives that's what we're here for have a good night folks i think we should get hope a phone that way if you're going to be late you could at least call straight home after school please at least for now sure so pizza for dinner like for real i just got home like can we calm the fuck down a little bit i think i'm gonna get kidnapped twice <laughs> after what happened earlier i couldn't risk being caught sneaking out to meet jeremy i need to dress inconspicuously what would you like to change into um uh, let's see basically a spy <laughs> um inconspicuous but stylish stylish 
this is cute low key but we're only going to meet jeremy invisible mm-hmm. what does basically a spy look like again we'll do the spy one and everything else is fine Here goes nothing. So their parents freaked the hell out since we didn't come home for a couple hours. Okay, dude, it's midnight in here. I'm going to knock his teeth out if he stands me up. <gasps> What's that? Jeremy, is that you? Come on, this isn't funny. Oh! Would you please keep it quiet? Are you out of your mind? I'd start screaming if I were perfectly. I'd say screaming. If a perfectly, I'm sorry, I'd say screaming is a perfectly appropriate response to being snatched in the middle of the night. What are you doing here? Are you following me? How weird of you? Are you secretly a vampire? Because I can work with that. Explain yourself before I scream again. <laughs> are you secretly a vampire? Don't tell me you're secretly a vampire, are you? I want some business to take care of. You should be here, you know. It's not safe. You forgot, I grew up in the neighborhood far worse than this one. Now you need to leave. I've got my own business to attend to. Ending up with a little late night booty call with your neighbor? God, no. I mean, no, nothing like that. It was infuriating how easily he could make you blush. Even more so how he knew. Care to elaborate then? Tell him the whole truth, tell him half the truth. I feel like if we tell him half the truth, it's gonna come back and bite us in the ass. We'll just tell him the whole truth for now. Jeremy has some information about my past. He was the one who told the police where to find me, if you can believe that. I think it could possibly help me fill in some of the blanks about that day or more. So we're having a secret meeting. And you trust him? I think so. But it looks like he may have stood me up, so maybe not. I'll stay with you to see if he shows up. Choose wisely. Um, having Reed here might be a good idea in case things don't go as planned. But then I risk Jeremy not trusting me, therefore not being honest with me. Because I want Jeremy to trust me if I want things about my past. So for now, he needs to go. No, you shouldn't be here. I doubt Jeremy would be honest with me if, you're, if you are. Smart. But I'm not leaving. I'll hang back behind the trees. He won't even know I'm here. Fine, but don't make a sound. I'm serious. This is important. You got it. Hope? Sorry I'm late. I got hung up. Um, I'm really glad you came. I'm hoping you could help me remember the things I can't. I'll try. Can we start with how you found me? Jeremy trusts you enough to tell you everything he knows. I was young when you disappeared, but I remember uncles yesterday. When I got older, I became obsessed with listening to podcasts, reading public case files, interviews, document documentaries. Anyway, I'm also really into collecting rare books. Many that can only be found at all in the wall book city stores. Like the one I work at. Exactly. I drove there in search of a rare first edition and instead found you. The minute I laid my eyes on you, I knew. So you kicked off the police. Yeah, turns out I was right. Is there anything else you can remember? I've seen pictures of us. Are we friends? I wouldn't exactly have called us friends, but we did see each other a lot being neighbors. Hope there's something you should know. I was there when you went missing. I mean, kind of. I saw you running. I think you were chasing a butterfly. And I saw the woman with short dark hair follow you. Ellen. But she wasn't alone. What do you mean she wasn't alone? Who was she with? All I remember is being taken off after you. All I remember is being taken off after you. She walked back to her car and spoke to someone. This is insane. I know, I need to go though. You can't tell anyone about this hope. I won't. Thank you, Jeremy. That was telling. No kidding. Do you believe him? Why wouldn't I? I don't know. Maybe because he was five when it happened and obsessed with you? Have you considered he's just making all this up to get close to you? All I'm saying is keep your guard up. You can't trust everyone. Including you. I know what I'm doing. Let's go. This place gives me the creeps. Maybe it's because a girl went missing here 12 years ago? <laughs> 3 a.m. What do you think are you in your room, darling? I miss my mommy. Oh. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. You just hurt my feelings when you say things like that. I am your mommy. Well, she out here being crazy. Just a dream. Maybe a glass of water will help me sleep. Oh, Avine. Couldn't sleep either? 
just came down for a glass of water. Good night. Wait, I, we haven't really had a chance to talk to Tech out here. I just wanted to say I've always wanted an older sister. Look, I don't know how much Josh has told you, but he's got a big mouth, so I'm guessing a lot. So I'm just going to be straight with you. I'm not interested in getting to know you. I don't understand. Have I done something wrong? I've been down this road before countless times, and if there's one thing I know for sure, it's I'm not going to let, my, let you take advantage of our family. This house, this life, it doesn't belong to you. You'll never fit in here. I mean, I would never. You may have everyone else fooled, but you can't fool me. So enjoy the life of luxury while you still can, because you're not her. You're not my sister, and I intend to prove it. My girl, what did we do to you? Oh, that was a short episode. But like, dang girl, what did we do to you? Like, they found us. We didn't find them. It'd be a different story if we showed up, but you know, she definitely didn't show up for them. But anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more, of course. And, you know, we're going to see how things go with Avene since she's out here, you know, battle royaling with us and apparently does not like us for some odd reason. Well than that guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Our little secret.